Hey, hello everyone, and welcome to another random gameplay video thingy. I figured so I don't, you know, start off a new walkthrough rusty, I should do something to make sure that I'm in tip top shape. And uh, how did I do that? I should not talk while I am typing. <laughs> and there we go. I, I don't know who that Justin person was, but I if I ever find him, I am going to call the police because he's been using my Wii, and I just do not appreciate that. Anyway, we're starting a new game here. I'm only going to play up to a certain point. As I said, this is just a random gameplay video. It'll show you the ropes of the game, so to speak, to show you how awesome it is, or at least how awesome I think it is, I should say, because awesome is a matter of a personal opinion. <laughs> um, I've done a video of this before long, long ago when I used, uh, used to do, you know, do the camera pointed at the TV thing, but only as a test to say, hey, I can't do dark horror games with ye old camera because, well, I just didn't know how to run it. <laughs> I actually didn't think that the camera had the capability to do so, but I, I just really, truly didn't know how to run the camera at the time. Now that I have a camera that I do know how to run. Um, I, I could actually do them like with pointing a camera at the TV a lot better than I used to, but now that I have a direct capture set up here, I obviously don't have to do that. <laughs> anyway, uh, all that was a part of the game's storyline, but it, it was just a repetition, uh, I mean a repetitive uh, part of it, just to hint at something a little bit later that'll make sense, but I'm probably not going to be showing up to that point in the, this video because, as I said, just a one-shot video to show the game off and practice the old commentary style that you all know and love or loathe. <laughs> and he appears to be getting himself a delightful beverage. Possibly Mountain Dew, though probably not. I mean, this is an M-rated game after all, so... And... Yeah, it, it usually comes with alcohol. <laughs> yeah, just as I thought. He better not be drinking on the job, though. That, that would be unprofessional. It, is that all he's putting in there, really? Well, I, I suppose it's not that bad, but he's still drinking on the job, I think. <laughs> By the way, I should make a quick mention that the lighting effects in this game is really nice. I'm not a graphics whore by any mean, but uh, you will, you'll see when I get to it. It, it, it it's mostly based around the yes. the flashlight. That's fine. We can start now. Oh dear. Why was he driving that fast on a snowy, slippery road? Well, that was not a good idea. Make sure you have your balance before popping off the seatbelt. Oh, and uh, if you don't know about the Silent Hill series, it is a horror game series, but not so much in the blood gore perspective, at least at least in this game. Hold on a second. I'll let him talk. <laughs> I've read your notes. The other therapist didn't work out for you. I want you to know this will be different. We take this at your pace. No notes, no drugs, no theories. We go back to the start, understand what happened. Take a look at this short form. I promise it's the only one you'll see during your therapy. Try to answer truthfully. It's easier that way. Okay, as I was saying, the game isn't so much about the blood, gore, blah de blah violence sort of aspects as it is the disturbing factor of things. So if that sort of stuff kind of uh, uh, like spooks you out, you best leave now. 
<laughs> anyway, uh, obviously I have a little psychiatric exam here. Man, I always thought I needed to see a, a therapist, so I'm going to uh, go through all these uh, answers here and uh, purposefully pick the ones that can be perceived in the worst possible manner. <laughs> um, this one's like a neutral one, actually. <laughs> Um, just trying to give myself a bad name here, and that, that one's sort of neutral as well, because it's a personal preference thing, and uh, yeah, that, that'll make me really look bad. Because <laughs> he said the answer truthfully, so I said, oh, well, I, I won't. Wait, did I, did I say yes to that? I want to say no to that, actually. <laughs> That's what I get when I chat, when I read things at the same time. I can easily miss stuff. Especially when I'm trying to, you know, be witty and comedic. But that doesn't always happen. <laughs> anyway, this is how the game starts. Cheryl. Cheryl? Sweetie? By the way, this is Harry Mason, the guy that we play as in the game, at least for a little while. Anyway, yeah, this is what I mean about the flashlight effects. It looks very nice. Just look how the shadows follow the objects that you're shining the flashlight on. See that? Anyway, I'm gonna leave that on. <laughs> so we're walking through a rather spooky neighborhood. But there's not really all that much going on though, we're just kind of going along and you come to this thing here, you can actually climb it. I actually, I didn't know that the first time I played this. I, I didn't uh, like come close enough to it to think that, you know, that, I mean, that little pop-up action icon would appear via Zelda-ish sort of thing. I don't think there's anything over here, but I'm just sort of looking around here for the fun of it. With the spooky music going on in the background. But yeah, you want to go over to this side here. Uh, how do I, I believe running is the... Yeah, it's the Z button. Okay. But anyway, you're supposed to go into this door here. Whoop, like that. And we are in some sort of garage. I can look, apparently. I don't know why I would want to look, but it's telling me that I could look. <laughs> There really isn't anything here um, on your first way through, let's just say that. So let's just move on. Although there is a slight puzzle coming up, if you can actually call that a puzzle. And I'm definitely glad I'm doing a practice video, because of the way that I bungled that very simple psychological test on how I managed to screw up. The <laughs> I wanted to say that I, that I cheated on a partner, even though I've you know never had a partner. <laughs> um... Which doesn't matter which door. I don't think it matters which. Do oh yeah, it does. This is the. Uh, what does this say? Yeah, I can get a little closer look. Mm. Well, someone is a little bit bitter. <clears throat> mm, they really need to clean this bathroom. Okay, do wait, wait, what was that? What was down? Was I down there before? I don't remember if I was... Okay, this is a different area. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been here before, actually. I never paid attention to all the doors in the area. Uh, <clears throat> when I my first playthrough on things, I tend to be very unobservant. I don't know if it's like just the... Um, uh, you can't go out through there, really? I, I wonder if it's just like the... Um, the fact that I'm excited to play a new game or something like that, and yeah, you get the idea. Hello there. Alright, got a mini puzzle here, you know it's not so much a puzzle. Whoa, that, that was incredibly difficult. I have never worked a lock before in my life. <laughs> 
All right, so we're back outside. And gas station. Oh, now they're teaching me Z to run or whatever. Did I say it was C before and not Z? See, it's good to have a practice. <laughs> All right, just taking a look around here as before. The road is closed. That's kind of sad. But that is the kind of thing that happens in Silent Hill, I suppose. Wait, I, don't, I always wanted to try this. Hold on a sec. Well, not that. It's... Do I have a phone? I'm pretty sure I have a phone. No, I don't have my phone on me, really? <laughs> anyway, let's move on, I suppose. This is indeed rather creepy, by the way. Okay, maybe it's not that creepy. <laughs> Okay, now that we're here, hear that? Did you? <laughs> Actually, shouldn't that have come from the Wii Remote speaker? Oh, hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I thought that was supposed to come from the Wii Remote speaker. Hmm, which way should I go? I'm, 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 okay, that's locked. Okay, okay. <laughs> Voila. And over here is pretty much nothing. Oh, wait, what is? Use what? Hello. A camera. What does that say? <laughs> well, there's a door release button, which is clearly what I needed to do, but <clears throat> unless that I was supposed to turn it to the right dial before I use the door release button, I don't I don't believe so. Okay, maybe I did. <laughs> it's been a while since I've played this game, I admit. <laughs> there we go. Voila! So that, that's like the security system for the area place dealio thing. Alright, we're back outside here. And I can climb up this, can't I? Yeah, it says do not climb, which is all the more reason to climb up it. Whenever you put a sign somewhere that says do not do something, that that is just going to make someone do something. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure you could jump up and grab that ladder if you really, really wanted to, but he doesn't. And if you press the A button, he screams Cheryl, just like uh, Luigi does with Mario in Luigi's Mansion, by the way, if you didn't notice that. <laughs> uh, what am I looking for? Am I going to jump over this? Yes. I'm just trying to explore as much of the area as I possibly can. And, yeah, see this? Yeah, it's, it's some sort of static image of something, but how? No, it's... Sorry about... Eh. Mm. Clearly my phone is not set to any specific button just yet. <laughs> I pressed every button on that and anyway, there's a little puzzle here behind here. Well, it's not so much a puzzle as it is a... Uh... No. Okay, this is the one. There's a key inside one of these things. And there you go. <clears throat> you just gotta shake it around to know which is the correct one. It's a trial and error thing, I suppose, but there's only three to go through, and I, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Can I climb up and use the slide? I want to use the slide. Oh, spoiled sports. All right, so we got a key. Got a lock. You know what to do. Okay, and now, you know, remember that psychologist, uh, the psych... Psychi psychiatrist test earlier in here. Dang it! I really do need practice. Well, depending on which answers you chose will determine which place you go into. Like, see, there's a regular old diner on that side, and then there is a bar off to this side. 
and since I said in the test that I prefer having a drink, even though I don't drink at all, <laughs> I um, will likely be able to go into this one, but not into this one. So this game has split paths. Now, see how this door is like frozen over? Or at least what? I thought... Or maybe you have to choose the place that you can go into? Or something? Huh. Actually, I wanted to go into the bar, but whatever. This is just how things are going, I suppose. <laughs> anyway, I, I thought about... I need your help. Car stuck in the snow? I'll get to it in a minute. Can you help me thaw in your windshield? It's my daughter. She's missing. She ran off? We were in a car accident. When I came to, she was gone. Car accident? And where did this happen? The highway, just outside town. I came off the verge and ended up in the junkyard. And my daughter's missing. That road's not in my jurisdiction. What? You want state police? You're kidding. My daughter is out there. You have to find her. A lot of people need help tonight. Look around. The whole town is a mess. You're screwing with me. Can I see your license? No! Oh, fine. You can have my license. Harry Mason, 11th Street. Says here you live on 11th Street? Yeah. Yes. Huh. Sure hope you weren't drinking before you had your crash. Uh... Chances <laughs> are your girl headed home, right? It's only a few blocks away. Sir? That's on the Wii Remote speaker, by the way. Phone. See, I knew I had a phone. It just wasn't set to anything. <laughs> they hung up. That was probably your girl. The storm's making the phones act up. Okay, I gotta go. What? Look, go home. Your daughter will be there. In the morning, call state police and sort out your vehicle. This is no time for running around town. Liable to get yourself locked up. That's me asking nicely. Ooh. All right, so it looks like I gotta find my way home. Wherever that is. <laughs> Alright, so what button? There we go. It's the minus button. I pressed that one before. I think it's just the fact that Harry didn't know at the time that he had his phone. Uh, I I probably shouldn't explain that because it's part of the game's story, come to think of it. So now I'm going to try and dial 911 call. Guess they couldn't hear me. Um, I think the Wii Remote's volume is just way too low. <laughs> I'm gonna do that one more time just in case you didn't hear that. Oh, they didn't let me do it again? Really? Wow, well, whatever. Just play the game yourself, I suppose. <laughs> Anyway, let's take a look-see around this place. I'm pretty sure I just go out the back door, actually. It actually yeah, it's this one, right? I thought it was... Hmm, not that one, really? I could have swore. Man, my memory always fails me. Maybe I am supposed to go back out here. Something... Ah, okay, here we go. Uh, he got a message? I didn't get any type of message. Uh... Okie dokie. So I do this. You got a real-time map thingy, but this isn't very practical to use when you're in uh, dangerous situations. But that's kind of the idea of this, to, um, 
make you make you feel more helpless, per se, in terms of the gameplay. Can I? Yeah, I didn't think so. Hmm. I could have swore that I. Hmm. Maybe you really do. I mean, you maybe you really are able to choose the place that you're able to go there and whatnot. Hmm. Anyway, let's just go back here. Now that I have my phone, I can do something here. There, there's a layer of reality that cannot be seen with the naked eye. Something is odd about the swing in this playground. Try for, for, <clears throat> for photographing it with the cell phone. Man, I, I cannot talk today. I am so glad I'm doing a practice run. <laughs> All right, pull out your camera. Really, really slow jittery. That's pretty realistic, actually, with how slow cameras are with certain things. And now by photographing that, you will get a message. And back, back, oh, there we go. Minus messages. And listen. Daddy, That's it, really? Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I suppose it was bone chilling for how long it lasted in general. And climb over. Eh. Oh. Wait, is it here? No, it's not that. It's this one. That's right. Because the other one has a couple boards in the way. Oh, anyway, as I was saying earlier, that I, I would make a walkthrough on this game, but because of the split path thing, I, I just don't know how I would go about doing that. Like, how many times would I have to play through this game in order to show you everything? That That's the issue that I'm having right here <laughs> with this game. I, I Like, I've planned some stuff out before with this walkthrough, I mean, a walkthrough potential, and it's just like, hmm, there's, there's a lot of stuff to cover. <laughs> anyway, now you'll hear some static on your phone. Try and find the place where it is. Use your flashlight to point it out. Voila! It gave me goosebumps. <laughs> New voicemail. You have and hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, in sickness and in health. Whatever ails us, whatever weaknesses our flesh may suffer under, our love will cure all else. Our love will be our rock. What is that? Well, we'll find out later. If I get that far. <laughs> I'm planning on just going through the first chase scenario, and that's about it. I don't think that's far enough so that you can understand that message. Ah, here we go. Answer the phone. And here's where things start to get real. What'd you think of that? <laughs> Alright, I'm looking for a door. I don't remember... I don't think it's this way, actually. I think I'm too far. Is it... No, I'm looking... Wherefore art thou door? It... I don't think it was this one. I know I'm looking for a door, though. Uh, I think this one's frozen over. Yeah, I think I'm going in the wrong direction, actually. <laughs> Well, it's nice to show you the uh, now taken over by ice world here that you're seeing here anyway. I think I'm actually supposed to follow the car alarm to find the door. I'm, this might actually be the car. Oh wait, this is the door. I recognize it. Alright, this is the game's first chase sequence.
The lighting effects are so awesome! Anyway, let's move on. Our objective is still the exact same, to go to Levin Street and escape the nightmare as that thingy says. So let's go, and you very well should be running most of the time. And you also might want to turn off your flashlight, unless it is very, very dark. Um, you'll notice that the pointer will make your Wii Remote ring, depending on where an enemy is. Uh, these enemies, they actually don't hurt you, so to speak. But what they do is they steal your body heat. And that's how they essentially kill you through, like, hypothermia or something like that. Um, so, I'm looking for a place. I, I'm not very good at navigating through these things. And, and that's kind of, I think, a purposeful thing in the game. It's designed to intentionally confuse you. Hmm. Wait, wait, go in here. <laughs> I, I have a feeling something is coming. You can hide and get away from things like this. Yep. Wait for it to leave. Unless it's gonna smell me out. I think I'm good. Go, 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 go! <laughs> go, go, go! Yeah. Eh, throw that! <laughs> you can you can sort of, like, throw things behind you to block their way, and this one's gonna get in my way, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, whenever, there's, whenever one of the critters grabs you, you have to throw them off with the Wii Remote like so. Uh, what I want to do is go under here. Eh. Yeah! Like that. Crawl under here! Yeah. Like that. Go forward! Keep... Wait, actually, I think I want to go this way for a flare. Flares can prevent them from coming near you. I think I'm gonna run face first into one there, or not. And... and oh, I think one see me. Jump! <laughs> you jump across gaps like you would in Zelda games, in that you just run towards an edge. And, no, no, don't you dare. And is then that you run towards an edge and you automatically jump for it. And I noticed that I'm getting off track here. <laughs> no, you freaking... <laughs> oh, here's the flare. This is what I was looking for. Grab this and you can use the C button to light the flare. But I'm only going to use that when a, when a thingy's approaching me. And one isn't pro. Okay, one is. <laughs> and this will keep them away from you for a little while. Now you want to go from here, I think this way... Uh, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> I have such a bad sense of direction and memory, this is going to be the bane of my existence. Oh, hey, this is... Wrong way, I think. So I'm gonna back up using my flare powers for now. And I'm gonna get jumped, aren't I? Or not. Oh, oh there we go. <laughs> eh. I am probably confusing the heck out of you right now, because I, I know what I'm looking for, it's just that I have to find it. <laughs> and I can't really say, so to speak, without, you know, sort of spoiling the route. Wait, wait, this is it, this is it, right here. Go through here, keep going, keep going, exit! And now, go down over there is a door. I probably shouldn't have my flashlight on because that alerts them, but we are out! And that's probably all I'm going to be doing in this video. It's gone on for like a half hour now, actually. That is home. Wait, actually... I suppose... I suppose I could do this one thing here. The car crash. That would have been a breakthrough before. But let's leave that topic for a while. I want to talk about family. It's important, right? I don't mean all that touchy-feely crap. You're not a very touchy-feely person. You're giving me that look. I'm talking too much. Well, let's have you talk. Or whatever you feel comfortable doing. Let's play true or false. Is it true to say you're a private person? 
Mm. Again, I'm going to choose the answers that can be perceived in the worst possible way, but I think that this is a neutral you one. Say it takes a while for people to get to know you. Uh -huh. Yeah, you have to shake up and down for yes. Their friends, but not their family. Would you prefer to spend time with friends over family? Uh, that's also kind of another neutral one. I don't know. I think these are all neutral. Nothing surprising there. Okie dokie. Now, you're going to like this. On the table are some pencils and a picture. Woohoo! I want you to let out your inner child and color in the picture. I do that every day. Alright, let's get the coloring here. We got ourselves a little coloring book here and uh, wow for pencils these things really really bleed ink oh my god <laughs> how do I change my brush size it's not gimp clearly um, <laughs> I guess I'll paint the house blue this is really awkward to do <laughs> Good lord! I, I'll take a... No, not, not that one. I want that one. No, it actually, that's too dark. I mean, that's too vivid. There we go. Brown for a rooftop. Oh, jeez. I'm, I'm getting all over the place. <laughs> it's so hard to stay in the lines when you got a brush size that's like 500. <laughs> um, got a green car. <laughs> I just yes, um, yellow people, uh, darker green trees. I'll just start scribbling here because this is oh my, <laughs> uh, perfect. You're finished. Yes. Now put this baby on the refrigerator. <laughs> Yes, it looks just as beautiful and picturesque and incredibly <laughs> accurate. <laughs> and it, the, whatever you painted the thing, whatever you painted the house will be the color of the house when you get there. I mean, in this cutscene. <laughs> That's why I wanted to show that because it's pretty neat how they do that. And also pick a little fun at how thick those pencils. I've never seen a pencil that thick, ever! <laughs> Hi there. Yeah, that picture really doing in my house? better go up on the refrigerator for all the work I put on it. No, put into house. it, I mean. <laughs> Levin Street. My name is Harry Mason. This is my house. My daughter just called me from here. From here? Uh, Lucy, honey, we think perhaps our little princess has been up to her old tricks. We're sorry. Katie's been acting up. She likes to make prank calls. Prank call? Why are you playing games with me? Sorry for any upset Katie has caused. We like to help, but it's getting late. This doesn't make any sense. This is all wrong. Cheryl is inside, isn't she? The only thing that doesn't make sense is your being here. You're upsetting my wife. Why are you doing this to me? My daughter is in there! No, she's not. Please get off my property. So maybe it's not your house. Dun dun dun. Her again. Mr. Mason. Shit. Unreported disturbance came through on dispatch. The address rang a bell. Yes, there's been a disturbance. There are people in my house. I think they have my daughter. Hell of an accusation. I know the couple who called this in. Mike Stewart is a doctor. He doesn't have your... You saw my license. This is my house. Let me see that license again. 
You had an accident. You know we were a little punch drunk, Harry. I can't raise the station on my radio. Let's go over there together and sort this mess out. Look, I'm sorry if I came across as a hard ass before. There's a lot going on right now. I just bumped you up on my priority list, okay? Yay! I mean, yay! I don't know if anyone's gonna get that reference. <laughs> Alright, that's all I'm gonna be doing here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are intrigued, well, I recommend you play the game for yourself and see more of it for yourself. I hope you enjoyed. I know the place and I know the people.